Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the JDBC navigation methods. The result set interface contains the following navigation methods. Uh, remember, not all methods work, work with the all result set types. What method works depends on your database driver, JDBC driver as well as result set types. Right? So these things you will have to keep in mind. If you use any methods, then these methods mostly depends on the uh, what what is your data database, what is the JDBC driver, and what kind of result set do you have? Whether you have a uh, read only uh, or uh, updatable result sets, or you have forward only, or you have a scrollable result sets. So this this method depends on the uh, these things. So database, uh, JDBC driver, as well as result set types. Like first method, I would like to talk absolute. So it takes uh, uh, row number. So here, row number either you can specify a positive value or negative value, right? So if you specify positive value, uh, sorry, uh, this is absolute. So absolute uh, absolute method always takes the integer value. You, you cannot uh, supply a negative value if. Uh, I was a bit confused. That is relative method. Relative in relative method, you can specify a positive as well as negative integer. Here, you will have to specify a, a positive integer. One means first row. If you result set dot absolute, if you specify two, the, the, that means re, your result set is going to point on the uh, second number row in the result set, right? and uh, make sure your result set is uh, scrollable right so how we make uh, our real set scrollable uh, we have already i have do demoed uh, through our demo project so please go to if you don't know how to make a result set uh, scrollable then please uh, uh, go and watch my previous video there i have shown you some practical example so this basically moves the result set to the point at the absolute position the position is a row number passed as a parameter to the absolute method now after last so basically this will move the pointer of result set after the last record right so moves the result set to the point after the last row in the result set now before first if you call result set dot before first then this is going to move the pointer of result set before the first record right so moves the result set to the point before the first row in the result set now first, first when you call first method, then this is going to move the result set pointer on the first record. So moves the result set uh, to point at the first record in the result set. Last, very similar to the first, but this will move the result set pointer to the last record. Now next, next method already we have seen when we got the result set and we wanted to iterate the result set, then we call the next method. So next method return type is boolean. As long as your result set contains the record this will returns you true once result set is finished then your result set moves to the after the last record and that will return you the false now previous your result set is as we discussed if result set is scrollable then you can move in forward as well as backward so if you want to move the forward then you have a next method if you want to uh, move the backward that means previous this is just like a iterator right a list iterator right list, list iterator is having a next as well as previous method so that is very much similar to that now relative so this is very important relative method takes integer and argument so in this slide that uh, argument i haven't written but this takes integer and argument and here you can pass either positive or negative integer if you pass two then your suppose your, your result set is pointing on the second uh, row and if you pass two then two plus two after that uh, your result set will point to the fourth record if your currently your result set is pointing on third record and if you pass minus 2 then 3 minus 2 this will point on the first record right so moves the result set to point uh, point to the position relative to its current position the relative position is passed as a parameter to the relative method and can be both positive and well as negative so now there are some more methods the result set interface also contains a set of methods you can use to inquire about the current position of the result set and these are like get row this will give you the where currently your result set 
is pointing that is that returns the row number returns the row number of the current row the row currently pointed to the by the result set now get type what what type of result set do you have whether you have a, a uh, i mean read only result set or a scroll, uh, type insensitive or type uh, sensitive result set this is going to return by the get type each after result result set whether your result set pointer is pointing after the last request right so that returns true if the result set point after the last record or false if not is before first returns true if the result set point pointer points uh, before the first row else this will return you false is first returns true if the result set pointer uh, or result set points at the first row false if not right so these are the methods i wanted to discuss now let's uh, i go through a practical example so i have already created this project i found this project is pretty straightforward so just i have created a project here and want to show you how uh, this method works so i haven't uh, uh, i haven't uh, used all methods what we have discussed in the uh, slides but most of the important method uh, i wanted to demo you so here i have a dbutil program which uh, gives me the database connection by calling get connection method and this returns the connection that uh, basically i'm creating in the static blog and the database credential as well as database information as well as driver manager i have declared on the top of this class and just i'm loading the driver manager by calling class dot for name and by passing the driver class and here i'm just using get connection method of driver manager and we are passing database url username and password and connection gets created when you call this method from the client program uh, right before returning this connection object this static method will uh, a static block will be executed and connection will be created and same connection will be returned to the client right so here you can see this is client program here i have written a sql query and here i have created a prepare statement like this but i have passed sql query first then result set type i have passed type is scroll sensitive so that your result set is scrollable and now second i am passing concur updatable means your result set would be updatable and from this prepare statement just i am creating a uh, result set so now your result set is a scrollable as well as updatable now i am calling rs dot absolute two so means your result set is going to point on the second row in on, on the database so if you try to find get row then this will point the this will print the two now on the result set i'm calling uh, uh, after last means your result set is going to point after last record and if you call the is after last then this is going to return you true now i'm calling uh, as my result set is scrollable right so i, I can call any methods right like uh, rs dot before first now this result set is going to point off before the first record and if you call is before first then this is going to return you true now i'm calling first method on it means the result set is going to point on the first record and if you try to check each first then that this is going to return you true now i'm calling last rs dot last means my result set is going to point on the last record and rs dot relative and here i'm passing two means uh, let's see how many records are in employee table so there are five records in the employee table and uh, i am doing uh, before before calling this method my result set was pointing on the last record means this record and if you pass if you call rs dot relative minus 2 means 5 minus 2 this will point to the third record so if you check row num this is going to point 3 uh, this is going to print 3 so let's run this project and let me show you so see what output expected output we are getting right so here uh, before calling this method we have set our result set on the second record right so that's why this is printing second now we have set it after last and we are ca calling is after last this is going to return true and first uh, after that we have set our result set before first records and if we are checking each before first that means this is going to return true again after setting the la first record 
we are calling each first this is going to return you true again and uh, uh, rs dot uh, now we are just point uh, our result set is going to point on the last record and we, we when we call rs dot relative means total we have a five records so five minus two so this will point on the third record so that's why this is printing three right so that's all in this video tutorial if you like this video then please subscribe my youtube channel so that you will get uh, intimation about my latest upload and thanks for watching this video